हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सेकेंड मेथड टूडे वी विल डिस्क्राइब अबाउट वेरियस एग्जाम्पल्स हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेकेंड मैथड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश गर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर हरीश गर वेर यू कैन फाइंड द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द नुमेरिकल अनालिस वेर यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस लेक्चर्स रिलेटेड टू दिस नुमेरिकल अनालिस यू कैन सी द फिक्स पॉइंट न्यूटन रैपसन रेगुलर फॉलसी बाइसेक्शन मैथड्स एंड देयर मैटलेब कोर्स एज वेल also there is a course of the gauss simulation and many more are here so what we have discussed in our last lecture that is the second method we have seen how you can define the equative scheme this is the equative scheme here then we also discussed that the convergence is not guarantee but once the second method is convergent then the rate of the convergence is a 1.62 which is faster than of the regular falsi method which is also faster than of the bisection method but remember once you are trying to solve the second method you either you know the initial approximation either you know the number of the how many equations you want to perform or what is the desired error what is the meaning of the desired error that is absolute error must be less than of this relative error must be less than of this but the question that arises is how we can solve this problem by the second method you can use this formula remember you are not convert you are not converted into the lcm form as i discussed in our last lecture the simplest way the easiest way you can solve this problem with my trick is you just complete this table the target is to complete this table but the question is how we can complete this table a very simple approach i can tell you in this video so remember uh, i as i told you if you take the lcm of this and if you take the lcm you can see it will be the cancel out but do not combine this one this formula is called as the regular falsi method if you take the lcm and write in this form from here to this then you have a, a lot of the significance error it means once you are using this formula then your result is not accurate so that's why you always use this method in this lecture we are trying to explain you these six examples of the different category where the initial points are given to you where the errors are there where the relative error is given to you you have to find the interval in the a comma b and nothing is given to you how you can solve such different kind of the problems in here for example you can see is nothing is given to you but it is given that you have to find the roots up to the four decimal places what is my target is the given function is my fx and my second method is here then your target is to convert into the table for that you need the two initial guess fine you can choose any of the initial guess you may choose as a 3 you may choose as a 4 you may choose as a 7 you may choose as 1.7 you may choose x node is my minus 1 you may choose x no x1 is my minus 4 or you may choose this is minus 3 and this is plus 7 that's on your choice but that will take uh, a lot of the calculation if you choose the wrong equation because the convergence is not guaranteed so what is the best way you can choose you can check the intermediate value theorem like you can find the value of f of 0 so you can see this value is 0 cos 0 is 1 which is greater than 0 and if i found the value of the 1 cos of 1 minus e of 1 remember when you calculate the cos sign you have to set your angle in the radian which is my less than 0 so they are opposite sign so you can choose x not either of them x not is my 0 and x not as a 1 it's on your choice you can choose as a random as well but the best way you can check it on your calculator find the two root which satisfy the intermediate value property but uh, again i told you you can choose either this you may choose as a this you may choose as a this that's on your choice then our target is to complete this table now how you can complete the very very simple approach when n is equal to 1 it is a zero x zero is my zero x one is my one so the first two values are here now i can substitute this value what is x two x one minus x one minus x not divided by f x one f x zero into f of x one so what is f of x zero you can see if i substitute x zero in terms of the radian cos zero is my one if i found the value of the f one it is my cos of 1 minus 1 into e1 so you can calculate from the calculator you can find it 
substitute all the values here you will get this as the right answer then how you can proceed further now it's very simple you can simply move this value to be here move this value to be here simply move the values in the diagonally fine now consider this value here x2 you can found the value of the x3 which is nothing but my f this is my xn minus 1 fine this is my xn you can find the value of the f of xn like of this you can found this value by substituting here and then calculate it you will get this answer now since i need a four decimal places you can see the four decimal places are not match then we can change them to be here change them to be here which is come to be remember that if they are talking about the four decimal places you can do your all calculation up to the six decimal places if they are asking you about the three decimal places do all your calculation up to the five decimal places that is a number of the decimal places plus two so that the error will be less based on these two values i can substitute here and the function value you can substitute you can get here again you can see the decimal places are not match you can shift this value to be here this value to be here then you can see again you can see the decimals are not match then you can find the next equation you can substitute this value here this value to be here now you can see that two decimal places are match but we need a four decimal places again i can found the sixth equation i can substitute this value here this value to be here and then can find now you can see up to the four decimal places the values are match so therefore when x n is my 6 this value is my x 7 this value is my x 6 so both the values are same up to the four decimal places so the right answer is my up to the four decimal places is here this is the way you can complete this table easily man. so let's do more examples so that you can understand it very well so determine the root of this in the interval 0 comma 2 by using the secant method so our target is to complete this table first of all f of x is my here fine now the initial values are already given to you so you can choose the one is the x naught one is the x1 which one is the minimum that i can take as a x0 the other one i can take as a x1 i can substitute this value this is 1.42 this is 1.43 i can substitute x naught x1 here the value of the f of x naught I can substitute this value here we can get this value f of x1 I can substitute here so based on this we can compute here since we need how many decimal places up to the three decimal places so we can write at least the five decimal places now I can move this value to be here this value to be here you can see I can move this value here I can now I can substitute both the values at this this and this corresponding function values I can found this number since I need the three decimal places, you can see up to the three decimal places they are match. So we can say x3 because n is 2, this is my x3 is same as that of the x2. So we can say the desired root up to the three decimal places is my here. Or you can round off them, it is 1.430 is the required root of this in this approximation. Look at this another one, find the real root of this by performing the four equations. So it is mentioned that you have to perform only the four equations. Fine. Perform only four equations. That means your target is to complete this table. Here, what is the initial node? X node and X1. Again, it is not given to you. So what you can do, you can choose either as a 3, 4. You can choose 3.5 or 4 point, minus 4.3 as per your own choice. But I always suggested you, you can check by the intermediate value property you can see what is f of 0 0 0 1 which is greater than 0 what is my f of 1 it is 1 minus 5 plus 1 which is less than 0 so i have the two values 0 and 1 so this value i can consider as x naught this value i can consider x1 so that convergence must be there so i can take x naught and x1 here i can substitute this value x0 and x1 here i can found the value of the f of 0 it will be my 1 f of 1 it will be minus 3 i can substitute this value you will get as 0.25 next i can move this value here this value to be here i can found this next number as here i have to found the value of f of 2.5 which i substitute here remember you are using your scientific 
calculator there is a word you can use your calculator in the form of the table there is a option of the table then it's very easy to make them since i have to perform the four equation there is no need to check the decimal places i can move these two values at here and find the new value i can move this value here i can move this value here and then we can perform this so since at the end of the fourth equation this is my required answer so you can see my desired root is by here now look at the another category where you have to see in you have to perform the second method and the relative error is less than of 0.5 percent f of x is my here clearly says how you can find the initial guess you can see if i take f of 0 e raised to the power 0 cos 0 is my 1 so this is my positive fine if i take 1 it is e raised to the power 1 minus cos 1 it is also positive because this is 2.718 this number is always lies between 0 and 1 which is positive so it can never be negative so it means i have to consider the minus 1 so e raised to the power minus 1 cos of minus 1 so it is 1 over 2.718 minus of cos of 1 which is a less than 0 so you can take the one as a positive second is a negative so that means you can consider 0 and 1 or you can consider any of the two numbers you may choose x0 is a 0 x1 is my minus 1 or you can choose any of these two numbers then i can see there is a relative error this is the definition of the relative error then your target is you have to perform until this will be less than of 0.5 percentage or you can see this will be my here so now i can complete this table i can take this value as x naught and x1 i can substitute both the values at here i can found this answer which comes to be here then i can found the value of this which comes to be x and minus 1 is 1.335205 again the decimal places is not given to you so by default it's a four decimal places so you can do all your calculation up to the six digits you can see up to the six digits minus x of n this is my xn minus minus plus one divided by xn plus one it's a minus 1.335205 into 100 so i can return in the percentage so once you can do the calculation you will get as 2.5 of this so this number will be my sorry 25.01 this number is my 25.01 so this point is my 25.01 now since 25.01 is not less than of 0 0.5 because i have written is a percentage so i can move on the second step this number i can return here this number i can return here then based on this number i can substitute this i can get this new value as here then again i can found this error as 1.286223 minus of this minus minus plus 1 point this divided by xn plus 1 so this number fine if you calculate this number it comes to be 3.68 again this number is not less than of 0 0.5 then we can move on the third step so what you can do this number is moving here this number is moving here and compute them now clearly says 0.49 is less than of the 0 0.5 so we can stop the process and then we can see e4 because this is sorry e3 because n is my 3 it's a e3 e3 is my less than of the 0 0.5 so the desired root is my here you can write up to this into this number one sorry this number is this number is my minus 1.292594 if you want to convert into the four decimal places you can write into that 2926 is my four decimal places the right because of this relative n now again in this case you can see in this case only the three decimal places are given to you it means you need to do your calculation at least five decimal places fine now f of x is my here target is again to complete this table f of x is my this how you can take the x naught and x1 you can see what is my f0 is a e raised to power 0 that's a minus 1 which is less than 0 if i found the value of the f1 which comes to be e raised to power minus 1 which is greater than 0 so that's opposite sign so 1 
thing I can take as a zero. Second thing I can take as a one. Or you can take as a zero point two or one point five. That's on your choice. So I can consider here. This value is zero. This value is my one. Substitute both the values in this equation. You can find the value of x n plus one. Then we can find this next table. This value I can move on this side, and I can substitute this value here. We can get this number. Since up to the three decimal places they are not match, then we can move on the third equation. We can find this value. Now you can see only the two decimal places are match, but we need a three decimal places. I can calculate the next equation. I can move on this value here. Now you can see up to the three decimal places they are match. So we can say when n is four, this value will be five. X five is equal to x four up to the four up to the three decimal places. So we can write the result up to the three decimal places is my here. Look at one more example. Apply the second method to find the root of this up to the three decimal places. Initial points is given to you. Fine. So it means f of x is my given to you. Initial point is given to you. So since I can take or you can take x naught is my minus zero point one and x one is my zero. That's all totally on you. There is no restriction on the x naught and x one. In this case, it is given as an absolute error. This is the definition of the absolute error. So you can stop the process when your e n is less than of this. So it means. Your target is to complete this table, and the last step is last new column is my e of n. So since I take this value zero, this value is my zero point one. I can write this value. Based on these two numbers, I can substitute here. We can find this number. Now this number is not less than of this. Then we can move on this second table. I can move this value here. I can move this value here. So we can get this new table. Here. Clearly, say this number is again not less than of the 0.001. Then we can move on the next table, which is here. We can shift it towards here. Clearly, say this number is again not less than of this. We can find the new values. I can shift it these two values. Based on these two values, I can substitute here. We can get this number as here. Again, you can see this number is not less than of this. We can move on the next table, which comes to be here. Now, clearly, say is. 0.00046 is less than of the 0.001, so we can stop the process, and your right answer is my here. I can write this number into the three decimal places. You can get your right answer is here. So this is the way you can write because this number is my e of n since e5 because n is my 5, e5 is less than of this, so my desired root is here. Look at one more example. Determine the root of the equation by using the second method. Now you can see the initial approximation is given to you. So our, again, our target is to be here. X naught and x one are given to be this. I can substitute this value here. Substitute all these value here. Remember, you have to set sine and cosine in terms of radian. I can find this value. I now I can move this value to be here. Then. I can find based on these two numbers. I can substitute in this equation. I can find this new number. Again, you can see the uh, uh, what is the stopping criteria? It is not given to you, so we can see up to the four decimal places. So since the four decimal places are not match, so we can shift it towards this side, and we can find this new number. Again, that four decimal places are not match. We can move this number to be here and compute this. Only one decimal places are matched, so we can find the next equation as this. Now you can see only the three decimal places are matched. But if nothing is given to you, you have to find the calculation up to the four decimal places. Then we can find the one more equation, and you can see up to the four decimal places it is matched. So we can write as up to the four decimal places is the required answer of this problem. So this is the way you can solve this second method in a very simple manner. Remember, just try to complete this table. You will get the answer in a very simple manner. I hope you can simply remember this trick and appreciate this lecture. In the next lecture, we will see the some more examples on the fixed point iterative methods and its convergence. Till then, you can simply like, share, and comments on my video. Thank you very much, students. Happy learning always.